back everyone. So today is our third lesson in our junior achievement series. So today we are going to dive into the idea of earning money. We talked yesterday about what we do with the money once we have earned it, but today we're really going to focus on the how to earn the money. So currently, for example, your job at school is to be the best student you can be. Good students who are kind, polite, respectful, focused, and trying their best earn what we call decision dollars at school. I've been saving up your decision dollars for you so far so that when we come back to school in January, everyone will have a good amount of money earned and saved to spend in our school store. When you first visit the school store, you guys will be so excited. We sell school supplies, treats, toys, etc. This is your hard-earned money, so you get to choose what you buy. At home, however, your job at home is to help out around the house. Some families have like a chore chart, while some will just simply ask of you to help out because it is your home too, and you should definitely be helping keep it clean and healthy. Some families will give kids rewards for helping out, and some don't. Regardless, either way, it's in your best interest to be helpful and kind. So. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over some definitions. Earning. Earning money is to get money for a job that you did. When you do a job, we call it a service, okay? So a service is when you do something. So work done for others, such as like a haircut or doing chores or something like that. And then once you've provided a service or done your chores, you're going to earn that money and then you can spend it on goods. And goods are just things that you would buy or sell. So for example, today we're going to hear a story about a girl named Cassie. So look at page three for Cassie's home situation. In her house, each chore she completes earns her some money. She then gets to use this money to buy things. Each time Cassie completes a chore or an action, we call that a service. Services are things people do to earn money. I, for example, come to school each day and I teach you guys. Teaching you is the service that I provide. I then earn money and I spend that money on goods. Goods are things you buy with your money, like wants and needs. Another example, is, and this is probably the best example I can think of, is when you get a haircut. You earn your money and you go pay someone to cut your hair. You buying a haircut from them is buying a good. The haircut is the good. The hairstylist or the person who's cutting your hair is the one performing the service. The service is them cutting your hair. They cut your hair and then they earn money for that and then they can spend it on the things that they want or need. So in Cassie's situation, she's a kid like you guys are. So let's go ahead and start off by reading her story. So her story is called Welcome Home. Welcome home. Okay. It says, Cassie sprang out of bed and rushed to the calendar. Carla was coming home Thursday. It had been a long summer without her best friend. So her best friend was on vacation all summer. Cassie ran downstairs, and between bites of bagel and fruit, Cassie planned a welcome home party for Carla. She would need to buy lots of things, like balloons, cookies, punch, and poster board for a sign. Cassie also wanted to make some pretty yarn to make friendship bracelets. Cassie had lots of ideas. She ran to get her piggy bank. She emptied it on the kitchen table, and with her father's help, she counted out $3 bills, 5 pennies, 2 nickels, 1 dime, and 1 quarter. She had $3.50 total. Cassie knew she needed help to earn more money, so she asked her father for help. So you guys are actually going to be learning all about money in the second grade. So I'm, that's why we're not super focused on how much a dollar or a quarter or all of that is worth. But what you need to know is right now, she doesn't have enough money to buy all the things she wants for the party. Household chores are a great way to earn money, Cassie, her dad said. Well, I do my chores every day, she said, and I make my bed and I put away my toys. But Cassie's father explained that making the bed and putting away the toys is what children do because they're part of the family, and that's the expectation. Those chores should not be done for money or a reward, he said. But then there are extra jobs or extra chores that she could do to earn money. Like what, she said. 
Cassie's dad thought a minute and then named some things that Cassie could do to earn money. She quickly grabbed her pencil and wrote down all these things as fast as she could. To earn extra money, Cassie could sort and fold the laundry, clean the sink, feed the cat, paint the bookcase, sweep the floors, weed the garden, help wash the car, help with the garage sale, make a list of the foods that were in their pantry, and then plan a menu for the week. That's a good idea. She could help measure something for a special project. All of those are options. So Cassie went to work. In three days, she had cleaned the sinks and earned a dollar, helped wash the car and earned three dollars, had made a list of the food in the pantry to earn another dollar, and so that means she had earned five dollars total. When her father got home from work, they went to the store to pick up supplies for Carla's party. So remember, Cassie provided all of those services, doing all of those chores, and now she has earned money so she can go buy goods or supplies. It was a bright and sunny day on the party day. Cassie decorated the backyard with balloons and a welcome home Carla sign. She then set out cookies and punch and greeted all her friends. Carla loved her welcome home party and her new friendship bracelet. I'm very proud of you, said Cassie's dad, and Cassie felt proud. She had worked hard and earned enough money to help celebrate her best friend returning home. She felt like there wasn't anything that she couldn't do. So, Cassie did a great job earning all that money by helping out her dad. What I want us to focus on now is all of the things that we could do, okay? So to recap, Cassie doesn't have a job like her parents, so her job is to help out around the house. Basic chores don't earn money because those are just the things that you're expected to do. You live in your house too, and it shouldn't be up to your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa to clean the whole house by themselves. You should definitely be part of a team. But extra chores, like the ones that her dad suggested, are ways that she could earn money to buy goods. Her friend has been away all summer and is coming back to town. She wants to throw her a welcome party, so in order to do that, she wants to buy balloons, punch, decorations, candy, all that stuff. To buy these goods, she must first earn that money, and her dad says for each chore she completes, he'll give her money to put in her bank, just like the one I gave you guys. After all of her hard work has paid off, she made her party super special. It feels good to work hard and earn your own money instead of simply asking people for it. So let's review all the chores she did or the services that she provided to earn money to buy those goods. So let's go ahead and look. I see that she started off by doing what? Did she wash and fold the laundry? Did she clean the sink? Did she feed the cat? Did she paint the bookshelf? Did she sweep the house? Did she make a list of all the food in the pantry? Did she mow the lawn? Did she make a menu? Did she clean up, clean up and wash the car? Did she help with the garage sale? Did she measure the special project? She did three of these chores. I want you to circle which three chores she did and then connect all the rest of the chores to get from start to finish. So at the bottom, I want you to not only circle those three chores that she ended up doing, but write out the words for those three chores. Then when you're done, what I want you to do is talk over your family chores that you could be helping with. Talk over the things that you're expected to do every day without earning money, and then some extra chores that you could help with to earn some money or any other ways that you could help out. Make your own chore chart at home. Send me a picture of it on Remind when you're done. Have a great day.